Right, here we are. This is just a video of me uh, droning on and shopping here in China for a, a Chinese, complete Chinese Taiwan uh, carbon fiber fixed gear bike, which I wanted to build up for myself. Uh, so this is just me uh, trolling the Chinese internet and picking up parts. And this is the first thing that has come and it is the rear wheel. And I'm not a master of Chinese nor the Chinese internet, but I can tell you that it is a tubular wheel, uh, which I didn't realize when I bought it, which was annoying because then I couldn't put Chinese tires on it because uh, I can't find Chinese tubular tires. But anyway, uh, it's made, the hub is made by a company called Intro7, which make quite a bit of uh, uh, fixed gear stuff out here. And uh, yeah, it looks true. It's super light. And you can see also it's got some sort of like a, um, I don't know what, what you would call them, like fairings on the side for, not, they're not really fairings either, but you can see it sort of like to look like it cuts through the wind. And you can see it's pretty light at just over a kilo. Uh, next is the front wheel. This is a complete cliche vanity bike. Uh, so <laughs> you can see I'm getting excited there about how much... Uh, this this bike is going to weigh so this is uh again from a company uh they are called zero zero uh three i think uh when i flash it up in a minute you'll see but it's awesome this is super light uh this is not tubular this takes a regular inner tube and uh yeah this uh, rear wheel cost me oh sorry the rear wheel was second hand this is uh, uh brand new and this cost me can't remember actually it was over 100 quid i think um but you know it looks yeah it's zero zero three but it looks awesome for uh the, the cliche bike so dead excited about that wheel um and now that i've got it on the bike i can tell you the noise that it makes uh, as you cut through the air is just wicked yeah so this um great 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 wheel and uh yeah it's super light um Although the but obviously I've gone for aero here, so uh, it is almost a kilo, which obviously you can get lighter wheels, but they're not going to look like that, are they? Okay, next thing is the frame. So uh, I've lost this T-shirt. If you know where that T-shirt is, please tell me. Uh, this is the box that it came in. I ordered this uh, for myself from a company that uh, were out here again. I found it on the on the Chinese internet. This is one of my caps. Throw it over there. Week uh and yeah and they built it up for me because i didn't have them in stock it's covid times so i wanted to go to the factory and actually check it out before i got it built but then i was like oh come on just 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 take a punt so i did and this is how it came wrapped up no no logos or anything on it uh so it's just matte black murdered out uh frame this is the fork which uh all, all of it came really really well wrapped so it's good this this company is good uh, but they don't i mean they probably supply bikes to other brands but i couldn't get to the factory this time to check out and i'm impressed with the carbon here that i'm just looking over at uh, and also they've instilled parts which i'm super happy with and that looks uh that looks uh dead dead arrow as well so now i'm waving around a knife and it's gonna stop waving around a knife put that down and here is the actual frame and again it's an aero frame so it's not super light um, but it does look super good uh, so <laughs> that's just the main vanity reason uh, yeah an unusual thing here is it's got bottle cage holders which I, I didn't need or want uh, but, but um, you know I probably would have asked them not to do that whether or not they could then have changed that I don't know but uh, but anyway one day I'll put a bottle cage on there and uh, take a beer somewhere, I'm sure. So it will have its uses. Uh, checking the drop routes at the back there. Obviously, it's track specific for a fixed gear and they, they, they look pretty uh, pretty good. Some metal plates in there and some uh, tent chain tensioner bolts. Here's the aero saddle, uh, sorry, seat post. And that is ooh, in and out. Exciting. Yeah, I like that, didn't I? Uh, it's, it's heavy, but you, you're never going to be able to change something like that. So, yeah, I'm just coming in there. And also, it's got a exotic uh chinese seat post uh sorry seat bracket so yeah there's you're not gonna be able to do much changing there uh 
Next thing, so that was the frame. Right now I'm onto the handlebars. This t-shirt, I know where it is, so don't worry. Um, so now these are some carbon fiber handlebars from a company called Wacko here in China. It's quite, I uh, saw quite a bit of this online and seen them in bike shops and stuff. So I was like, I'm gonna go for them. And psh, these were about, I don't know, like 15 quid to me. Uh, so yeah, narrow, nice and narrow for the track style. I like drop, not, not wide bars. Uh, then we got uh, Welgo foot straps. These were like two quid each. Uh, bought a couple of color options because uh, I thought that would be uh, far out to have maybe one red and one green, but actually uh, it's not really, is it? But there you go. Uh, yeah, so they're, they're, they're a company, uh, Taiwan. Uh, they make stuff, a lot of stuff to do with pedals. And what else am I digging around for? What else can I find? Uh, I got yeah I got a, I got a package here. Uh, ah yes, it's from a fixed gear. I remember now. Uh, here is the crank, which is just awesome. Again, this is an Intro Seven one, so it's the same as a hub on the uh, rear wheel, which I'm just pointing out there. Uh, what are they? Are they? I think they're 65 mil. These ones, so they're uh, you know proper uh, track specific, lower. Uh, sort of smaller crank sizes, uh, but I just love the way they look. I love that. I love that filled out uh, middle, and these came with a 49 mm, chain ring on there. Uh, so, looking forward to murdering my knees <laughs> with this chain ring. Uh, yeah, but uh, it's. I, I did look at the gearing on my road bike and see where I was, but this, I just got it for looks, right? What am I up to now? Right, okay, this one, you probably, if you're in crazy countries, uh, you would have heard of this one, or western countries, sorry. Uh, <laughs> and this, this, this actually came with some paperwork, which is the first part uh, of any bike part that I've ever bought that actually came with some paperwork and like an inventory to explain what you've got. But these are the stems. These are from a company called uh, Tosik. There's lots of Tosik stuff available out there. Um, so yeah, this is one of the stems. I bought it because of the colour and the way it looks, and also it's a, it's light, it's carbon fibre. Everything that I can get my hands on, I want it to be uh, carbon fibre. So no exception there. And I've also got another uh, stem in my hand there as an option. So here it is all laid out. Uh, those eagle-eyed viewers and those of you that know about cycling will know that a bike requires two wheels, and I've only got one. But that's because I had to take it to the shop because I needed, unfortunately, to get that tubular tire fitted because, uh, yeah, I didn't want it, but I've got tubular. So we've got the frame. I've already put a tire on there. That's a Kenda tire, so you'll know that for Chinese stuff. The cranks, also got the bottom bracket in there. It's a British standard uh, bottom bracket. Pedals, some green pedals there, the well go. Got the chain, that is the only thing going on the bike. It's a Japanese chain. What is it, Izumi? uh what else we got we've got plugs for the for the uh handlebars yeah izumi uh to seek um what's it called spacers uh headset that came with the bike which is good there's the handlebars again carbon fiber then unicorn p uh bar tape which is all the rage out here uh so i was like i'll just go for it the fork again uh, then I ordered this saddle, which was just green, but it came and look, it says S Works on it, which is just completely fake, but I didn't order it like that. It came like that. And then I've got a carbon fiber headset mount, which uh, I plan to whack onto the bike. So this is prior to the build, everything laid out, so you can get an idea of how simple uh, fixed gears are to build. Uh, yeah, and then we've got uh, just my crude tools here. I've been here, at the time I made this, I've been here for, uh, I don't know, about a year and three months so I hadn't accumulated so much tools and this is just one pack that I bought off the off the internet I've got a persuader there I've got the grease yeah some pliers uh, knife you know uh, just bits and bobs so but it should be simple enough to to build up the uh, the bike the bike with that but I uh, I've now built it so this is uh, after I built it but uh, I can tell you that I did actually have to purchase a few a few extra bits because some of this stuff just wasn't gonna just wasn't gonna do the job and then I just have one of these I just find it very easy uh, cal for near calipers to to measure stuff up when you've got a bike uh, two cans of lager optional uh, for bike builds but I would recommend it but yeah it's optional um, right come on Dave move on because we've we've stood at these for long enough 
Here it is in the stand ready to be built up. That'll be the next video and I suggest you avoid watching that at all costs.